Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the MSVCR90.dll is not found or missing error you're experiencing on your computer. So hopefully this shouldn't be that part of a tutorial for you guys to follow along with and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser, doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome for the purpose of this tutorial. And I'm going to navigate over to google.com. And into Google, you want to type in Visual C++ 2008 Redistributable Package. Then you want to hit Enter. Best match should be for download Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 Redistributable Package. Just left click on that. Now you want to make sure you're downloading the correct one. So you, you see when we went back to the Google results, this is actually the 32-bit version. So if you're running a 32-bit operating system, you want to select this one. If you're not, you want to go back and then just select this other link here. Because you can tell the difference a little bit when you're actually clicking on it. So the second one actually took us to a 64-bit download. So the second one doesn't have the times 86 in the name, so it's 64. So if you kind of hover over it, just so you guys are aware, you see it says 64-bit in the description, and they're both Microsoft domains. However, I am going to be using the 32-bit one for this tutorial because it's a 32-bit machine. And then I'm going to select Download. Once it's finished downloading, I'm going to run the file. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on Yes. Left click on Next again. And then you want to check mark I've read and accept the license terms. Left click on Install. You can close out of your web browser as well at this time. Okay, and it should say successfully installed. If it had to uninstall any other versions, just let it do that. Left click on Finish. Would suggest restoring your computer as well. And hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.